Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. It's How To Tuesday. What, what? So my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. And tonight, we're going to learn all about how to paint trucks. Trucks, 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 trucks. Yes, I even got a prop. Look, I'm fancy tonight. We got a prop. <laughs> That's my truck. So if uh, you're practicing along with me, say hello, hello, hello. If anyone's practicing with you, with me, then make sure to give them a mention. Let's see uh, the table tonight. So, of course, I got my palette, I got my water, and I got an assortment of brushes. No worries. I'll tell you what I'm working with. And the Java. What? And there he is. There's the Mr. Butters. Say hi to your fans, Butters. Say hi. <laughs> Butters, you're so cute. You're a good boy. Who's a good boy? Oh, stretching it out. That's right. Getting ready for practice. That's right. So, hello, hello, hello. So, we have Tina's in the house. Tina M. We got Tina M and Tina B. Oh, yeah. I'm finally getting you guys straight. <laughs> Lily is here. Hello, 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 Lily. Welcome to the fam. Hello, hello, hello. So you guys get all your stuffs together, and I'm going to pour my paint, same paint, every single party. Blue, yellow, red, black, and white. I'm going to put you in a handy-dandy holder, and we'll get this thing started. All right, so say hello, hello. And get your stuffs together, whatever you're working on. Practice, practice, practice. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, 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 sweetheart. So, here we go. All right. Handy dandy holder time. That's right. Elizabeth is here. Hello, 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 Elizabeth. How you doing, my love? Everybody. Trucks tonight. We're painting trucks. I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, three ways, right? So we're gonna do sideways, nice and simple, easy peasy, le lemon squeezy, and we're gonna do one uh, facing away from us, and then we're gonna do a three quarter one. So I am so glad that you are good. Hello, 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 Vanessa. How you doing? Tina M, you got it all straightened out now? That's good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Hello, hello, Vanessa. Welcome to the fam. So we got Lily in the house, and Vanessa is here. All good stuff. All good, all good, all good. All right. So I'm glad it was you, Tina. <laughs> no offense, but I don't like when something with technology messes up because uh, I'm, not very, uh, I'm not a very good fixer, and... I hate to press buttons. I hate to press buttons when I um, when I uh, try to fix stuff because I might mess something up. <laughs> You're so welcome, Vanessa. All right, blue, black, white, yellow, and red. I don't know what we're gonna uh, what colors we're gonna do our stuffs, but that's what we're working with. All right, so I'm gonna grab big boy. Big boy is a one inch flat. All right, guys. So swirl tap dab your brush, right? You want your bristles to be damp but not dripping, right? Nice fine edge on our nice flat brush. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and we're going to start with a sideways truck. Okay, so let me get my prop. Guys, I got props tonight. We got props. Giving props to the props. <laughs> so we're doing this way. We're going to do sideways, okay? Just like this. Right? Nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy. So whenever you paint anything, you want to break it down into shapes. All right? So what's our shapes for our truck? It's going to be squares and rectangles. Hello? That's what it's going to be. Okay? So let's, um, let's make a green truck. All right? I'm going to make a green truck. You guys can make whatever color truck you want, but we're going to go green for the sideways one. So I'm going to grab some yellow, and I'm going to grab some blue equal parts and I'm gonna grab some white all right so I'm gonna get that all on my brush nicey nice nicey nice nice all right and we're gonna make a rectangle that's all we're gonna do we're gonna make one big rectangle just like that right making a rectangle that's all we're doing okay so there we go there is our rectangle okie dokie smokey 
Nice and easy peasy, right? Can't get any easier than that. Okay, and then once you have your rectangle, you're going to draw the cab of your chalk, which is just a square on your rectangle, okay? So, you're going to draw the uh, cab. Boom. Boom. There it is, right? And then we're going to, um, a little bit bigger, I think. There we go. Okay? And then you're going to draw your hood. You're going to draw your hood, and we're just going to do like a little diagonal line just to put the hood on there. That's all. That's all. Right? So now we have our shapes down. Now we can add our details. <laughs> you screwed up a rectangle? <laughs> so just make it a bigger rectangle. That's all. Okay? So as you fill this in, you can make it, uh, you know, use the flat of that brush. Fill it all in, fix your sides, whatever you need to do. As you color this in, you can turn around and uh, and fix it, fix it better for yourself, whatever you need to do there. Okay, guys? Hey, 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 Jerry's in the house. Hello, 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 Jerry. How you doing, sweetheart? So, um, all right. Now, now that I have that. Okay, we're going to move to, oh, I almost put my brush in my coffee. It almost happened, guys. It almost happened. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy, it almost happened. So now I want to grab a smaller brush. I'm going to grab Mini-Me. He's just a small, flat brush, right? Looks just like Big Boy, except he's small, okay? And I'm going to, um, hello, 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 Ellen. How you doing, sweetheart? Everyone say hi, Ellen. Welcome to the fam. So we got some new fam members tonight. We got some new fam members tonight. All right, so I'm going to grab the smaller brush. And I'm going to grab that green. And you got your wonderful brush. They're so great. You're great. Awesome. I'm so glad. Yeah, and that wouldn't taste so good, Vanessa. You're absolutely right with that one. All right, so I'm going to do a diagonal for the windshield, too, just because I want to. You know, you can leave your, you know, some trucks, the, the windshield is um, flat. Some other trucks, it's at an angle. So I had a pretty good week. Pretty good. Not so bad. It's only Tuesday, so it didn't get screwed up yet on me. I had my art show on Saturday and Sunday. I did pretty good there. So it was all good. Okay, and then now I'm going to turn around and um, put my tires in. All right, so I'm just going to grab black paint. I'm going to grab black paint and the first tires over here, right under my hood. Parentheses and the parentheses. There we go. Okay. And <laughs> don't eat the pretzels. Pretzels have paint on them, all right? And the other tire, the other tire is over here, okay? It's not all the way back here. It's not all the way back here, guys, okay? So on a truck, the other tire is actually in more, and then the bed of the truck sticks out a bit. So we're going to put the tire right here. We're going to put the tire right there. That's where we're going to put it, just like that. Boom. Okay, so we have our two tires. Now, are you going to get your tires to look exactly the same? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't think anyone draws a perfect circle every single time, the same exact size every single time. So you can just do a parentheses, parentheses, or a scribble circle, right? Just scribble like that. Wendy's here. Hello, 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 Wendy. So... Yes, so it was a pretty good weekend. All right, so I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush now, and I'm going to grab, uh, let's move you guys closer. Let's move you closer. All right, there we go. There it is. All right, there it is. And I am going to grab my white. I'm going to grab white paint, and we're going to come in here. We're going to come in here, and we're going to paint in our window all right so we're gonna paint in our window and since I made my windshield slanted we're gonna give a little slant on this side right following the same line as the slant I did for the truck 
So you want the same slant on both sides. And then this is straight. Right, so we're going to paint in our window. Easy peasy lemon squeezy here, guys. Nothing hard at all. Do, 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 do. There is our window. <laughs> hello, 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 Cynthia. How you doing, sweetie? All right, so I have my window in. And I'm going to, uh, since I have the white on my, my brush, I'm going to scribble circle my hubcaps in. Scribble circle. Scribble circle. All right. Just a little scribble, scribble. That's all. That's all. And now we have our hubcaps. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to grab that white with the green. I'm going to grab that white with the green. Diane is here. Nice, Diane. So you are here. And you're what? You're being a watcher because you're going to. Uh, you're working on your Halloween painting. I love it. I like it a lot. So that's good to see. And you're going to make it very, very, very spooky. Awesome. Go with it. Go with it. I love when you guys create on your own. That's the whole point of these How To Tuesdays, guys. So I can show you how to do something, and then you can make your own creations any way you want. Any way you want. Alright, so I'm grabbing some white paint with that green. And I'm going to put the hubcaps in, right? So old trucks have these really big hubcaps. These aren't hubcaps. <laughs> hubcaps are what's in the tire. <laughs> what are these things? Bumpers, I guess? I don't know. Wheel wells? Whatever. Whatever they are, they have nice... Uh, nice wheel wells on them. So that just goes around your tire. There you go, just like that. And you have your wheel well. Fenders, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Wendy. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, and we're gonna put the other one over here. We're gonna put the other one over here. There it is. There it is. Okay, and they go below the truck line a little bit. Okay, so if your truck, the bottom of your truck is here, your wheel well is going to go below it. And it's okay if you cover the top part of your tire because it is in the wheel well. Alright, so you can cover the top. Fender! Fender, that's right. I'm calling it wheel well again. Whatever it is, these things, these rounded things on top of the tires. Okay? And it's okay if you cover the top of your tire because your tire is like in there. So you don't have to worry about that. If you cover the top of your tire, it's in there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to swirl tap that my brush. And then some trucks grab some more white with my green. Some trucks have the piece like the running board, I guess. So we're going to come off of our fender and we're going to put a piece going that way. Okay, so like a running board. I guess you call that a running board. I don't know the names of trucks. Now I'm going to grab, now I have a dirty brush here, but so I don't want it white, 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 white. So there's this little bit of green still on here. And we're going to throw a highlight on here. Bam. Okay. And we're going to throw a highlight on this one. Bam. Just like that. And we're going to throw a highlight on the top of our, on our hood there. And let's throw one going across the top of the truck here. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do, um... I'm going to grab my smaller brush now. I'm going to grab Tiny. Tiny is just a small round brush for the details. Jerry, uh, Tina M was experiencing me freezing before. So I don't know what's with the internet. Margaret, you too? Oh no. So that might be on me. Alright, if you guys, if I'm freezing on you guys, that might be on me. Alright, let me hit a button here. 
Okay, and hopefully uh, that's better. Oh, I don't know what I hit now. All right, let's do this. Okay, there we go. So hopefully that's better, guys. All right, good. All right, so I'm grabbing uh, my small little round brush here for the details. Okay, and we could turn around and put a little uh, hood latch if we want to, right? A little hood latch going on there. Okay, and I'm putting a lighter green line for the uh, grate. Maybe there's a grate on the front of my truck. So I'm going to put a lighter green line there. All right, cool beans. All right, as long as it's all working out, because you guys know me and my technology. So, and I'm going to grab um, some blue. I'm going to grab some blue with my green that I made before, right? Just making it a darker green. I'm making it a darker green. That's all I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to turn around and put shadow line in on my wheel well. And I'm going to come over here and put a shadow line in over here. All right, so now we're just adding some details. We're just spiffing it up a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to put in my line for the door. There's my line for the door. Okay, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. And the more details you add, the more realistic it's going to get. So there's the line for my door. And let's make a door handle. Right there. Oh, can't see that. Let's grab some more blue. Here's a door handle. Alright, so the more details you add, the more realistic it's going to look. So, I'm swirl tap dab and mini me. And I'm going to grab some white. Plain old white now. White, white, white. And I'm going to do a little scribble in my glass. So it looks like it's reflecting. <laughs> Tina B, the more details you add, the less realistic. I know you. I know you and your details. So <laughs> I know exactly what's going on there. 6,000%. 6,000%. I know what's going on with you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to grab my black paint and I'm going to make, um, I'm going to do my tire. Right, make it nice and dark. Right, fix the edging of that a little bit. And I'm going to fix the other tire with the smaller brush now. Right, make sure it's nice and dark. Nice and dark. Right, don't play too much. The more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. So, don't play too much. Right, and... Just a reminder, all my videos are kid-friendly, so I'm going to watch this thing and you guys watch that stuff, okay? Sounds good. All right, and it's always, always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. So I will share those links since I am uh, talking to you guys. All right, so there you go. All right, so now I'm going to turn around. I'm going to grab some, um, some more white paint. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to put my hubcap dots in. Hi, Deborah. Deborah's here. Kim is here. Hello, 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 everybody. All right, so I'm going to put my hubcap, uh, those little screws that are in the hubcaps. I'm going to put those in there. All right, and just like that, guys, you have yourself a truck. And in the bed of your truck, you can put whatever you want. If you want to put your pumpkins or you want to put your flowers or whatever you turn around and want your painting to be, that's what you can do, okay? And um, get it all set. <laughs> Deborah made it. Kim is here. Hello, 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 guys. Hello, hello, hello. 
Oh, you made that easy peasy and she's a beauty. We are so blessed that you share. Oh, thank you so much for that, Wendy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Wendy. That's very kind of you. I am a self-taught painter, and through the years of painting, I've picked up some things here and there on how to paint certain stuff, so, you know, that's what I'm sharing with you. Somebody might have more technical ways of doing things. No bumpers. Oh, all right, we can add bumpers. Sure, you want bumpers? We can add bumpers. All right, so I'm going to take that uh, Mini-Me brush. And I'm going to grab my white with my uh, green. Do the lighter green. So, I had to make more green because I ran out. I ran out. So, I'm going to grab my white with my green and come over here. And you just put a piece out this way. And you can put a piece out this way on the front. And there are your bumpers. And you could turn around and take your small brush, your tiny round brush, grab some white, and you can put a highlight on your bumper. Boop, just like that. Little piece there, little piece here. And there's your bumpers. <laughs> there's your bumper, sweetheart. All right, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, for to give you guys a chance to catch up mustard, let's do some roll call. Cynthia's in the house, Tina M, Tina B, Lily, Elizabeth, Vanessa, Jerry. Ellen, Diane, Deborah, Kim, and Wendy are here. Ellen, not Ellen. Is it Ellen? Yeah, Ellen. <laughs> oh, I think it was, I was writing Ellen. Oh, I'm scrolling now to see if it was Ellen. Yes, Ellen. I wrote that right. I couldn't read my own writing. <laughs> oh, I couldn't read my own writing. That's, that's hysterical. Okay, so... next thing you guys can totally draw this it's easy it, it's uh nothing but shapes nothing but shapes and then adding some small details to it that's all everything you draw every time you look at something and you want to draw it break it into shapes everything everything out there is always some sort of shape a square a rectangle a circle triangle <laughs> everything that you're looking at to draw is always a shape of some sort so if you break down your object into its basic shapes and just get the shapes on there and then play with it a little bit you'll be able to draw anything that you want you got to find the shapes in what you draw so that's what I show you guys. I show you guys the shapes within the items so you're able to draw it. That's all we're doing. We're just breaking things down into shapes. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is when you guys are looking at the back of a truck. All right? Now, this gets... Oh, you want an antenna now? <laughs> you guys are having fun with this little guy, huh? All right, so I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty for an antenna. I'll grab some black paint. And you want a, a radio antenna, right? I don't know where that would go. Here? There. There's your radio antenna, Jerry. <laughs> There's your radio antenna, okay? <laughs> so now we can catch some uh, radio. All right, so... The, um, now, now I'm going to teach you a little bit about, um, drawing things in perspective. All right. So I want to show you drawing things in perspective. So when you're drawing a truck that's facing away from you. Okay. So we're going to do, 
we're gonna do a basic truck that is facing away from you. So one of these, okay? So it is facing away from you and all you see is the bed of the truck. Okay, so this might help you, Kim, since you did do a back of a truck, this might help you in figuring out why it's a bit lopsided. So what you wanna do is you wanna put in some perspective lines because the back of the truck is closer to you and then the cab of the truck is further away. So we're gonna turn around and we're gonna put in some perspective lines. Okay, so I'm going to grab some, um, I'm just gonna grab some blue and some white so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And there you go, that works, Kim. <laughs> you just tell it has a bro. So when we're doing an uh, old truck, we can get away with them being all kind of lopsided and, and, and wiggy and whatnot because wiggy and whatnot, that's a good one. So now, your truck is pointing in a certain direction, right? So here's that point of whatever direction it's facing. And then you're going to turn around and you're going to make yourself a triangle. All right? Make yourself a triangle. Now, the further away the truck, the further up the triangle you'd go. Okay? So if your truck is somewhere all the way up there in the, in the background of your picture, maybe on a road, you would go into the smallest part of your triangle. So the further, the further away, the more into the triangle you'll go. All right, so now what you wanna do is you have the back of your truck. Okay, that's the back of the truck. And then you wanna do your straight lines down. So there is the back of your truck. Now, I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to get rid of all this with some white paint. I'm going to get rid of all that around my truck, right? So say blue is my background. Alright, so now that whole thing becomes part of the background. All right. Now, the cab of my truck, the cab of my truck is going to be further up the triangle. Okay? So the cab of my truck is going to be up here now. Right? So right there and then I want to do my lines straight down okay now I'm going to grab some white paint and I'm going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of this stuff right here let's get rid of that make it part of my background so we're making all this part of my background and you turn around and now you can color in your truck so the only other piece you're going to do is unless the bed of your truck is one of those ones that hang over the side of the cab you would leave it alone if it isn't you're going to go from the corner and follow the same angle here, but you're going to go from the corner, connect that, and connect that. Okay, grab some white paint, get rid of my guidelines here, do, 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 do. get rid of all this stuff over here. And now you have a truck facing away from you. That is the correct proportions. So it's not looking wonky. Lynn is here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Thank you for that. I'm going to be off for about a week or so, too. So next week, 
I'm not going to be around, guys. Not going to be around. I know. You're going to miss me. We're going to miss you too, Lynn. And that is how you paint your truck in perspective. And once we have that, now we can add all the little details to it. Because it is the size and the shape that it's supposed to be when it's facing away from you. That's all you need to do, guys, is remember the triangle, right? So that is all you need to do. So I'll let you catch up, muster with that, and get your shape correctly, okay? <laughs> that's it. I'm saying it's so. That's how you do it. That's how you do a truck facing away from you. Just like that. You draw your triangle. You draw your bed in, you draw your cabin, you do your straight lines going straight down, and then you just connect the cab to the base of the truck following the same angle that your triangle was. And that's it. That's it, guys. All right, so I'm going to turn around, and if your truck bed is empty... If it's empty, if you're not putting anything in your truck bed, so the faster you draw your line, the straighter it'll be. And you can't do a death grip. If you're doing a death grip on your brush, if you're doing a death grip, you're going to wind up with a wiggly line. So the faster you draw your line, the straighter it's going to be. So you can't overthink them, and if you need to lean your hand against your canvas, you move your hand, not the brush. All right? So you're going to hold your brush, lean your hand against the canvas, put the brush on the canvas, and draw the line. Okay? So you're moving your hand, not the brush. And if you still can't draw a straight line, you could always grab a ruler if you want to. All right, let gravity take over, right? So if you try to move the brush and not your hand, it's not going to work out too well. You always move your hand, not the brush. Swoop. And you do it quickly. Swoop. And you make the swooping sound. Swoop. And, a, and you're going to get a straighter line. You don't see a truck bed. Right, so <laughs> you can move the ruler. That sounds like a good idea. All right, so this is the bed of the truck in here. So if your truck bed is empty, you're going to put a line straight down and a line straight down and then have it disappear. Okay, so that is the bed of the truck right there okay and this is the cab of your truck up here now I can't draw a straight line you jinxed me Tina <laughs> all right and so let's color it in so you can see it better all right let's color it in so you can see it better so I'm gonna make my truck uh, I want to use reds Okay, so I'm grabbing some red and I'm grabbing some white. And let's color in the cab of the truck. Okay, so there's the cab of my truck and it's mixing with the blue, so it's coming out purple. That's fine. I don't really mind. Okay, so there's the cab of my truck right there. Grab some more white so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the cab of my truck. Okay, and I just rounded the top edge because it has a rounded cab to it. Right, and now I'm going to do the back of the truck. Grab some red, grab some white. I'm going to grab more white because if it's closer to me, it's going to be lighter. So there is the back of the truck. Did 
There is the back of my truck right there. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Now I'm going to grab more red because the inside of the bed is going to be darker. So I'm going to grab more red, a little bit of white, and we'll do the bottom of the bed. It's all good. It's all good, Tina. There we go. So we're going to do the bottom of the bed right there. Do, 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 right? Clean that up a bit because you know how much I paint in the lines. There we go. There is the bed of the truck. Okay, grabbing some white. Gonna fix my line right here because I went out of the lines. Of course I did. Because why? Because I'm Eve and that's what happens. Okay. And now we're going to do the inside of the bed. We're going to do the walls on the inside. So we got this wall here. And the insides here. And the insides here on that side. Okay. So, oh, you guys can't see that. It blended out. All right. Let me do that again. I'm going to grab some white paint so that you guys can see the different pieces. Okay. So, you can see the different pieces. So, there is the different pieces of the truck. So, if you're going to do the inside bed of the truck, you have to add those new shapes. Okay? So, ketchup and mustard with that a little bit. I made mine all different colors, so you can see all the different pieces. Be cab, back wall of the bed, the bed of the truck, the sides of the bed of the truck, and your back of the truck right there. Okay, so that is how you do that. So you follow that triangle and it makes the truck look like it's going further away from you. And the triangle is very part important. So you put this piece first, then this piece, these two lines in, and then the inside is just lined straight down, a line across, and that's it. All right, so you guys got that? Or do you want me to do it again? <laughs> or do you want me to show you again? Or you can just uh, re-watch this and play it again for yourselves. It's up to you. It's up to you. All right, so now we're going to add the, um, we're going to add the uh, details to this truck, okay? So... I'll give you a chance to catch up mustard, let this dry a little because it's way too wet, and then we're going to add the details, okay? So, it's easy peasy, as long as you do those guidelines, you're going to have a truck that's in perspective, and this way, Kim, you don't have to tell them it has bad shock, shocks from um, driving in the dirt roads in the woods all the time. <laughs> now your truck has good shocks. <laughs> Now your truck has good shots, okay? All right, so now let's add some details. So I'm going to take uh, Mini Me. I'm going to take Mini Me, and I'm going to grab some black paint, and we'll add our tires. There's one tire, there's the other tire.
okay? And it's like half the tire. It's not like a full length of tire. It's just like about half of what the tire would be. Because you'd only see half of it hanging it out. You did it painting earlier and your little windows were leaning. <laughs> you even took your time. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. That's all good. All right, I'm gonna swirl tap dab mini me. I'm gonna grab some white paint. I'm gonna put in my back window. Right, and I curved the top of my truck, so I'm gonna curve my window. I curved the top of the truck bed, so we're just gonna curve the window on the top. Okay, and there's my window. And now I'm gonna swirl tap dab my brush and I'm going to grab red paint and I'm going to finish making my truck a red truck. So now I'm just gonna grab some red paint and I'm going to do the cab of my truck. Follow that around, bring it on down. Okay, so there's the cab, and here's the back wall. Okay, and then here's the sides of the wall. Just like that right all we're doing is coloring all we're doing is coloring I'm gonna grab a little smidge a microscopic amount of blue with my red micro microscopic microscopic amount of blue with my red and I'm gonna do the bed of my truck right because that's gonna be the darkest piece out of all of them Okay, and I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush so I can do the back piece. I'm going to do the back piece, swirl tap dab my brush. I'm going to grab my uh, little microscopic amount of white with my red. All right, move my hand, not the brush. Shoop. Right across. Shoop. All right. There we go. Shoop, right across. Okay. And color this in. There we go. All right, because the back. There it is. Okay. And then if you want to turn around and um, I'll grab just white paint and I'll put that scribble reflection in here. Okay. So we'll put our scribble reflection in there. Do, 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 just like that. <laughs> and we can put on a bumper because Tina likes the bumpers. She likes the bumpers, so let's put on a bumper. All right, so I'm gonna come out this way a little bit and I'm gonna come out that way a little bit and then shoop, shoop. All right, moving my hand, not the brush. Okay, and now we have a truck that has good shocks. <laughs> We have a truck that has good shocks. Let me call, grab um, 
Mr. Nifty. We'll grab Mr. Nifty and black paint. And we'll put a little uh, license plate on this bad guy. And I'll grab Mr. Nifty and I'll put a handle. Right? And then Jerry wants her radio antenna. So we'll put in a radio antenna here. Right? Maybe he has a CB. Maybe he has a CB. <laughs> Right? If you want, you can put your steering wheel in there. Maybe you're seeing the steering wheel. <laughs> or you can put two people in there. That's always fun. I like to put people in there. Right? Grab my uh, yellow and my red. Maybe put a person in here. Right? Put one little head there. Put another little head there. Okay, you can put some people in there if you want to. Whatever you want to do. It's your truck. It's your uh, creation. You know, you can have fun with it. If you want to put, um, you know, something in the bed of your truck, you can do that. Maybe there's, um, maybe there's a box of goodies in there. Maybe they just went to the market, right? <laughs> Yours is too small to add that stuff. That's okay. So maybe they just went to the market and they picked up some goodies, right? So we'll put a little, uh, little box back there. All right, maybe it has some flowers in it. Right? So... There you guys go, okay? So that is a truck driving away from you. So that's how you want, that's how you draw it. So Kim, it doesn't wind up with bad shocks. And uh, you just do that triangle thing for yourself. And you can have a truck that is driving away from you. All right, so I'll give you guys a chance to catch up muster with that. Adding all your little fun details, whatever you want to add to it. And now you can do all your fall paintings that have the trucks in them, that turn around and have the pumpkins in the back or whatever you want to do in the back. Now you know how to draw the truck going away from you. So we have Cynthia here, Tina M, Tina B, Lily, Elizabeth, Vanessa, Jerry, Ellen, Diane, Deborah, Kim, and Wendy. Oh yeah, good times. Good times are rolling over here on How To Tuesday. That's right. That's right. Don't forget, guys, I have um, the painting kits. If anybody needs one of those, if you're just starting out, you want all the supplies for every party. I have the brush sets. If you're just starting out, Jerry got her, her brushes. Elizabeth got her Mr. Nifties. Oh, yeah. So, Tina M got herself a kit. Tina B got herself some brushes. I don't know if Tina used them yet or not. <laughs> Tina M, I hope you're having fun with uh, your kit, being able to uh, paint along for every single party. So, exciting stuff, exciting stuff, yes. So, next one we're going to do is the hardest one. It seems to be like it's the trickiest one, and that is the truck that is... I call it the three-quarter view, right? So that is the truck that you see. That's three quarters, okay? <laughs> Tina B is waiting till she upgrades her paint, and Tina M is having a good time with her paint, her whole kit and caboodle that she got. So, the next truck I'm going to do is the three-quarter truck, okay? So, that's the one where it is, I'm going to do, let me see. Let's do one that is facing us. That's three-quarters facing us. Okay? And then we'll do one that's three-quarters, um, 
not facing us. Okay, so let's move it over to here. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna flip my canvas so I don't have to be painting from the other side of my canvas. So this one, this one could be a little tricky, but again, you're gonna draw yourself in some guidelines first. Okay, so this way it's not tricky anymore. It's not tricky anymore. And the difference with your guidelines is that you're not doing it so it's going further away from you. So we're gonna do a truck. We're gonna do a truck that is three quarters, right? Three quarters, just like that, okay? So we're gonna do a truck and this one is going to be facing you. And this is the one that people have trouble with. And it's really, once you put these guidelines in for yourself, it's the same way as the truck that was going away, except you just, um, <laughs> you like that? You like my little prop? He's cool. I love that little truck. <laughs> He's like this old, old, old toy truck that I found. Um, all right, so let's do, uh, I'll do green in my guideline so I can get rid of them. All right, so I'm going to grab my white again. I'm going to grab my yellow and my blue. All right, let's make some green. Okay, this way I can get rid of my guidelines once I draw them in. And... So you're gonna put your point, and then you're gonna do your triangle. And the difference with this is, okay, so then you're gonna do your triangle. So you have your point and your triangle. Okay? And you want to do the bed of your truck. So you're going to do your straight line. And then you're going to follow this line. Okay, and then you're going to follow this line. of your truck oh wait no we gotta do the cab first so now I'm gonna do the cab All right so there's the cab of my truck okay and then I'm gonna do the front of my truck which I'm following these lines okay so it's gonna come out like this and then you have the top of your truck which is gonna follow this line okay so you have the top of your truck right you have the hood of your truck the um the ceiling of your truck Okay, and I want to follow that same line. Okay, so these are following that same angle I made with my triangle. Okay, 
and then this is the side of the bed the side of your cab so I'm trying to do these in different colors for you so you can see what I'm doing <laughs> no not okay <laughs> So you want to follow these same angles, okay? So this is a little, this should be taller. That should be taller. Okay, so you're following you're following the same angles, okay guys? So you're following the same, 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 same angles. So, you turn around and I'll show you in a minute, as soon as I'm done smoothing this. So I'm making my truck bigger so you can see what I'm doing. making my truck bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so everything's following the same angle. So this angle, so this is the top of your hood. And then this, the top of your cab, is going to follow that same angle. Right? And this, this was the part of my triangle right here. Okay. So this, right, this part of my triangle was a little too far up. So this is my triangle right here. So I'll put that back in so you can see it. And plus I had that a little bit off. So you want it like that. All right. So this line is going to follow that top piece. And then this follows that top piece. Okay. So those two angles follow that top piece then you do the same thing here and here okay following that top piece okay and then this one is following that top piece okay here's my top piece angle 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 all right all following that top piece and then you just do your lines that are straight down down let me do those in blue let me grab some more blue down 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 Okay, down and down. Yes, the angle is definitely harder. 6,000%. <laughs> Just make it, yeah. So, grab different colors, Jerry, or um, just make it bigger. So, these are all straight down lines. Those are all straight down lines. And... All of these follow the same angle. Angle, 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 angle. Okay, they all follow the same angle. <laughs> this one's tricky. It's tricky. It is tricky. Very tricky. But that's okay. The angles are definitely harder. And then, the bottom part of your truck is following the bottom part of that triangle. So, this is an angle, this is an angle, right? So the bottom part of your truck is following
all at that same angle. Okay, so this one is tricky. It's definitely tricky. That's why I'm showing it to you and trying to break it into pieces for you. Okay, so. Now, the other part, which this might fix your blobs now, so just, Jerry, just grab a really dark color and put these lines in for yourself, okay? So we did our straight up and down lines. All right, I'm gonna grab black now so you can see these again. I'm gonna go over it again for everybody, all right? So you have your straight up and down lines. Okay, so put those lines back in for yourself, straight up and down. Okay? <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. <laughs> you're, you're doing what I say. <laughs> you don't like it a lot, and you don't like it 6,000%. <laughs> oh. That's why we're practicing, guys. That's why we're practicing. These, this one is tricky. They're tricky. So do, do your lines straight up and down, and now do your angled lines in a nice dark color. Angle and angle. Angle and angle. And this one. Bam. <laughs> okay? Now, your next lines are angled, too. So, put these in for yourselves. Now, these lines follow the same angles as the first one. So, this is going to angle this way. And then you're going to follow that same angle. Angle that way, that way, that way. Okay, there's the back of my truck. So they all follow that same angle. This way, top of my hood, this way, this way, this way, and that way. All right, they all follow the same thing. So this one is definitely, definitely trickier than all the other ones. Okay. All right. So, if you have something that looks like a blob, that's okay. All right. So, let's start over. Let's start from the beginning. Because a lot of you, that was confusing, and I kind of made it messy. So, we're going to start, we're going to start that one over from the beginning. Okay. So, whatever blobby mess you have, just cross it off. And we're going to start it from the beginning. <laughs> we'll start it over from the beginning. Okay, guys? No worries. Don't stress it. All right? Because this one is definitely, definitely tricky. And I, I kind of, maybe I made it a little too, too messy. I made it a little too messy for everybody. Because, you know, that's what, that's what I do. All right, so you're going to start off. Let's start off with shapes instead of lines, okay? Let's start off with shapes instead of lines. <laughs> Maybe if we do it in shapes, it'll be easier for everybody. All right, so I'm swirl tap dab in my brush. I'm going to grab my green paint. Okay, and we'll start off with a rectangle. Let's start off with a rectangle. Okay? Now, Everybody's got that, right? We're cool with that. We can totally do that. We can do a rectangle. Okay. So, from that rectangle, from that rectangle, you're going to do 
three lines. One, two, three. And these are all the same angle, okay? So one, two, same exact angle, three, same exact angle, okay? So do, the, do that for yourself. All right, so let's do this in shapes. So this way you don't get as confused and you don't wind up with these big blobs. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, did it, all right, good. Okay, <laughs> Wendy's putting fish under her boat. <laughs> I love it. What can you put under your blob? I don't know. <laughs> the Wicked Witch's legs with the ruby slippers. <laughs> okay, so now, now you're going to go straight up like that. All right, now put this one in right there. Okay? And the line here, going this way, you're gonna turn around and put the line in this way. All right, so you're gonna put the line in this way, a line in that way, and then you're gonna go straight up from that corner. All right, line here, same angle, line here, same angle, and straight up. Cheryl. Okay, then line here and line here. You're going to put your line here. All right, fill this in. Okay, once you have that, from that corner right here, this, this piece and this piece, you're gonna do the same line off of this piece. Okay, so this, this, line here, line there. Right? And then you have this angle, this angle, this all the same. These are all the same. You're going to put that one on that one. Okay? So I'm going to grab some uh, white paint now and let's fill this in. That's okay, Tina. It's all right. This one is really, really, really tricky. So I'm not surprised if you guys are having trouble with it. It's okay. That's why we're practicing. That's why we're practicing. Okay. And now, extend this out. Send that out. <laughs> you got you, you guys will get this. It's okay. It just it's it's not easy. 
If it was easy, I wouldn't have to show you how to do it, <laughs> right? And honestly, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So when I showed it to you before, just doing lines, it got a little confusing. So we're gonna do the shapes instead. So you made a rectangle here, right? And then you're gonna make the rectangle this way with the same lines, okay? Now this guy right here, becomes the next rectangle, right? Okay, so that one becomes the next rectangle. And I'm gonna fill this in. I'm gonna fill this in, okay? So we're gonna fill this piece in. Okay, so it's making rectangles that have angled lines. All right, so we're making rectangles, right? So it's a 3D box. That's what it is. Right, exactly, Tina, you got it. It is a 3D cube, so that's exactly what we're making. Except we want all of our cubes, we want all of our cubes, right, to have the same... See, I always mess that back corner up. That's my biggest thing. This back corner, I always mess up because I don't make this line, like, longer. All right? I always mess that back corner up for some reason. That's, that's my nemesis right there. All right? So we're making cubes. That's exactly what we're making. You're 6,000% correct with that. All right? So 3D cubes aren't the easiest thing to do. But that's what we're making. And that's why, like, when you do it with the paint, you know, you actually get the freedom to play around and fix this line or fix that line or whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do to make the cube. Okay? So, are you going to do it perfectly correct the first time? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, but that's why you get to play with it with the paint. See? See how much I had to play just then? And I still didn't get it right. I still didn't get my cube right. Okay, so here. Line here, line here, line here. down, down, okay, so you can have a big messy cube, it's all right, but that's what we're doing, we're making, we're making the 3D cubes, we're just making sure they all line up the same way, so this is a 3D cube, and this is a 3D cube, and the 3D cubes, I'm still playing with this sample one on the bottom here, this black one that I'm making. I'm still playing with it, and I still didn't get it right. <laughs> so, it's going to happen. They're not the easiest thing in the world, because this back corner one always seems to get m muffed up somehow. Alright? So, that's the cool thing about with painting. We can just keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger until we get our stuff correct, okay? So, but you are 6,000% correct, Wendy. We are making cubes, that's what we're doing. And just like Elizabeth said, if you mess it up, you can always fix it, okay? So, that's the good thing. That's the good thing. So, if you need to practice your cubes first, then practice your cubes first. Okay, so obviously, you just saw me try to make this cube down here, since Wendy mentioned it, and I just got it right just now. <laughs> just now, guys. So, if you're not getting the cubes, it's okay because they're tricky. There's lines and angles and all this muffed up stuff. So if you're not getting it, that's okay. 
and because I just tried to make this cube since Wendy mes mes uh, mentioned it and I just got it now so that's the thing all right guys I just got it right just now so if you got to keep playing with it Keep playing with it, then keep playing with it. Now I'm trying to make it see-through, which I just asked for trouble trying to do that. So I'm making it a see-through cube. <laughs> and uh, if you need more practice with doing shapes I have a 3d objects video so if you need practice with doing shapes I have that video so anyway I was just challenging myself to see if I can make it a see-through cube I kind of sort of got it so now let's go back to our cubes on our truck so it's the same thing. It's cubes all following the same lines. That's all it is. All right, guys? So take a woosah moment. Give yourself a breath. <laughs> right, Jerry? Give yourself a breath. So Cynthia that's out there, Tina M, Tina B, Lily, Elizabeth, Vanessa, Jerry, Ellen, Diane, Deborah, Kim, and Wendy, all of us, breathe it in. Breathe it out. Woo! Take a woosah moment. Take a woosah moment. Let's build a uh, let's build a cube together. All right, let's build a cube together. Let's do that first. Let's do that first. If you guys aren't getting it, that's okay. Let's build a cube. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do. But making a cube is you're going to make a square. <laughs> it's okay. So let's practice making a cube. All right. So the first thing is you make the square. All right, make a square. Now, off of that square, you're going to do three lines. One, two, three. All right, off of that square is three lines. One, two, three. All right, and these all follow the same angle. See, one, two, three. Once you have that, this line back here is going to follow the same as this line. That's the tricky line. That's the tricky one right there. To get this to follow this. And then this line comes straight down. And finish connecting. Okay, so this is the tricky line right here. This one is the one that causes the problem. Because this line and this line have to be the same. All right. That's how you make a cube. Okay, so start practicing with your cubes. And your truck 
is the same thing except all the cubes in the truck are following the same angles. So you get the whole big picture. All right, so if you're having trouble with your cubes, you just need to practice them. So if you're ever doodling one day or doing whatever, just practice making cubes. They're not, they're tricky at first. Like once you get them, you get them, but I still mess them up. I messed up this one a couple of times once Wendy suggested it. So it's all right if you're messing up your cubes. It's totally understandable. We all have to start somewhere. And it's just one of those shapes that is tricky. Okay, so you just have to keep practicing making your cubes. The good note is, is that you're still having fun and we all kept a sense of humor about it. 6,000%. <laughs> you got a trapezoid? <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. All right, so let's finish this bad boy. Okay, so... Now, you're going to come here, and this angle, right, which we follow throughout the same truck, is going to come back here. Okay, so if you do a line from here it's going to be the same angle. You like your first truck? I like our, my first truck too. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna follow this out. And this line right here, these ones, is gonna be the same one back here. Okay, it's going to be the same one back here. And then this line, you're going to follow all the way through. And that's the side of the bed of the truck. Okay, put a straight line up this way. Okay, good. So, it, it's not easy. It's not easy to wrap your head around a 3D object, you know, because we're so used to dr drawing things that are flat and not in 3D. So, making a 3D object isn't easy, okay? Because our first truck, it was flat, right? There's nothing 3D about our first truck. Our second truck was 3D, but it was a little easier because we only angled two lines in the whole thing, okay? This truck, the three-quarter truck, every single line is being an angle. So that's why it's gonna get tricky and trickier. And that's why I said doing the triangle helps because it gives you how the lines are going to be. So doing a three-quarter truck is a little trickier, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab some blue paint a little bit of green and I'm gonna color in the bed of my truck All right I'll grab some more green color in the sides
Okay, I'm gonna grab some white with my green. So as you're coloring it in, you can turn around and fix whatever you need to fix so it all lines up. Now I'm going to color in my tops. All right, and you want to do... <laughs> and you want to do, you know, do your, your squares in different colors so you can see what's going on. So do your size of your squares and stuff in different colors. <laughs> it's tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> All right. Now we can add our details. Okay. So I'm going to add my tires in. And then you're just going to see a piece of this tire over here. It's a really small tire for such a really big truck. <laughs> yeah, let's make that bigger. And this one over here is going to be bigger. Okay, so you add your tires in. So this is just a little semicircle, right, on the bottom. And then this would be the whole circle. <laughs> It's a donut. Yeah, he got a flat doing those same trails that Kim's trucks do. <laughs> and then we're going to come over here shoot, and add our tire in over here. Okay, add your tire in over here. And then we could put our wheel wells in. Grabbing some white paint with my green. All right. Do our wheel wells. All right, just grabbing some white paint with my green. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna grab some more white paint, put in my uh, running board. All right, notice I'm moving my hand, not the brush. Do another line. Good night, Jerry. <laughs> All right, grab some more white paint. Put in our bumper. Grab some more white paint, put in our windows. Now these, the windows are gonna follow the same angle right so those are going to follow the same angle hi lisa and this is going to follow the same angle this line Right? These are all going to follow the same angle. Ok. 
Okay, so you do your windows. All right, you can do your little mirror. Do the little mirror on the side, right? So we have a little mirror over here. Maybe a little hood ornament or hood latch. You can do a vent, right? You can do the vent. Okay, put your little door handle in. Beep. Do your little door line. Beep. Right? Do your um and put your highlights in. Right here, just grabbing some white paint. Put some highlights in if you want to. Whoa! I'm going to make over here a little darker. Right underneath my hood. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little darker. I'm going to do a little zigzag zoom to blend it in, but just make it a little darker. All right, so as you're doing this, you can turn around and fix whatever you need to fix of your lines. Okay, as you're putting in your details. Okay, guys? Alright, so, now that we have, I have a cube right here, so we can do it facing the other way. So here's my cube, right, make your cube. Make your cube as best as you can. All right, we have our cube right here. So make your cube as best as you can. I'm just going to make mine a little bit bigger because this is going to be a bed of a truck. So make your cube right there. Fix one of your blobs that you guys wound up getting. It's okay. And then off of your cube, right? Let's extend this out. Put our lines up. All right, these two straight up. This line follows that angle. Okay, this line follows that angle. And there's the cab of your truck. Right? All following the same angles, right? This one, shoop. This one, this one, and this one. And then this one's following these same angles. Here, here, and here. Okay? We have this one, this one, and this one. And then this, 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 this. Okay, so there's your truck. 
facing the other direction, right? And then this line's gonna extend. Okay, so it's the same line all the way across, Shroop, right? And then this line's gonna extend, same line all the way across, right? Shroop. Okay, and then this line's going to extend, same line all the way across. Shroop. Okay, and then the, oh, still a shadow. I'm trying to get rid of the shadow for you guys, okay? And then this line on the front is gonna match these. This, 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 and this. Okay, so that would be your truck facing the other way. Facing the other way. Okay, so take a minute, catch up mustard with that. Do the best that you can, guys. It's all right, you know, as we color it in, you can fix your lines a little bit better if you need to. You know, do what you can do. We're all at different levels, so some of it's confusing. I'm grabbing my diet soda. We're gonna crack this can open. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. So let's wake everybody up. We got Cynthia, Tina, M, Tina B, Lily, Elizabeth, Vanessa, Jerry, Ellen, Diane, Deborah, Kim, and Wendy. And Lisa just popped on to say hello, hello, hello. You guys are awesome. This is why we do practice sessions so we could practice. So if we get blobs, if we get mess ups, if we get all sorts of nutty stuff, that's all right. That's why we're doing practice. Exactly. Tina B, you hit the nail right on the head. You definitely need to practice. That's right. Because drawing cubes is not that easy. So the sideways truck was pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right? So we did this bad boy. He was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then we ventured into trying our angles out with a truck that's going away from us. Okay, not too hard, because there's only one set of lines. Well, two. There's two here, and there's two here of lines that are at an angle. And then we went to these bad boys, which every single line is at an angle. So the only thing you need to remember about these bad boys is practice your cubes. You know, all of us could use some practice doing cubes. Obviously, I needed some practice. And all of your lines in your truck follow the same angles okay so once you pick what that angle is going to be you just match that throughout your whole entire truck and then once you pick what your ang other angle is going to be you match that through your whole entire truck now for me to paint these angles better if you noticed what I did is I went like this and then like this, then this, and then I drew my new line. So I kind of have my angle like in my hand when I go to draw the new line. All right. So that's another little trick you can do. Like, so you just follow what you already did and then draw your new line. And this way it's already like in your hand movement. You'll know which way to move your hands to be able to draw the extra lines to it. All right, guys. So, good night, Cheryl. Thank you so much. So, now with our truck facing the other way, right? I'm grabbing Mini Me. I'm grabbing some black paint. Let's do our tires. Okay, so we're going to do our tires. Again, really tiny tire. It's a donut. <laughs> Let's try to make that more what it's going to be. And if you notice, my tire right, you want to do, if you give yourself a line here and a line here, and then draw your circle out of that, 
okay you can get a tire that's more at an angle but it's really not that important okay so I'm gonna follow this line I'm gonna draw my line here I draw my line there and then do my parentheses okay but that's really not that important because it's a circle so you don't have to worry about that too much and then under here is just going to be a piece of the tire right so see this width right here you're gonna make this the same width but you're just doing a semicircle you're just gonna do a piece of the tire a semicircle okay now I'm gonna take um, my big brush I'm gonna take a uh, big boy here and I'm gonna grab some blue I'm gonna grab some yellow I gotta grab some white I have to pour myself some more white okay so now we're gonna color in our truck all right so I'm grabbing I'm just making some more white I mean some more green <laughs> I'm just making some more green that's all we're doing Okay, and I'm going to color in my truck. Alright, so let's color this bad boy in. Shoop, shoop, shoop. And then if you need to fix any of your lines, you can fix them while you're coloring the truck in. Okay, and I'm going to grab some more blue. And I'm going to color in the bed of my truck. Okay, so if you need to fix any of your lines, do it while you're coloring in your truck. That's all. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do, guys. So, put in the back of my truck here. Okay, put in my hood. right gonna grab some uh, white paint and we could do some um, we could like round the edges of this if we wanted to so we can make this like the you, know, you ever see the trucks that have the rounded edges so I'm gonna follow my line and then when I get to the, the, the back corner I'm gonna round it out I'll follow my line I'm doing it in white so you can see it and then I'm just gonna round it out Okay, then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to follow my line, and I'm just going to round this corner out. Okay, so you can round out your truck if you want to. If it's one of those trucks that are round, have the rounded edges. And uh, same with here, when I, I could come up, and I can round this out, and then come down rounding out my edges and over here so I'm going to come this way I'm going to soften that one come over here and round out this edge so all I'm doing is softening the corners of all those cubes that I made okay I'm just softening the corners of all those cubes that I made come over here Soften that corner, follow this, and round that out. Okay, so then you can make one of those trucks with the rounded edges. All right, maybe put a little piece like that, round those edges too. Okay, so that's how you do the rounded edges, is you just round around all those corners. You just soften them out. Just go up and around and soften the corner. Okay, and put my, uh, come up and around, soften the corner. And then put this line back in. Right, 
and now I'm just grabbing my green because I did that all in white to show you how to round your edges. So I'm going to grab my green here and zigzag a zoom, zigzag zoom, okay. I'm going to make this darker down here because it's the bottom of the truck, zigzag a zoom. Right, zigzag a zoom in. I'm using mini me so I'm not destroying a brush. That's what he was made for. Zigzag a zoom in. Gonna add some blue here. Zigzag a zoom it. Back in here, maybe a little zigzag zoom. Right, so now you can add some shading and some highlights and, you know, whatever you want to make this more and more realistic as you paint it in. All right, grabbing some blue, going to make down here a little darker. Zigzag a zoom. Okay, I'm going to grab some white paint, put in my windows, they're going to follow the same angle. Put in my window, put in my window back here, it's going to follow the same angle, right, here, 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 here. Okay, and you know, and if you mess up your angles, it's okay. Once you add all these little details, it's not going to really matter. Good night, Wendy. Thanks, love. You too. Okay, so as you add all these little details in here, right, and the more details you add, the more realistic it's going to look. As you're coloring it in all right so now you can just have fun and play with it now that you got your shapes right okay because the hardest thing is getting the shapes right obviously <laughs> because we just had kind of a tricky time with that which is fine you know, we had a tricky time with that. So you're not alone if you have a tricky time with something, if you're just not getting something, or practice as a fam because we're all in the same boat. We're all just learning how to do things. And it's okay. It's all right to screw up. It's perfectly fine because that is how you learn. That is how you learn, right? That's how we learn, by screwing up. Right? If everybody got something perfect the first time they try it, then I wouldn't have to do these how-tos. I wouldn't have to do these. You guys would have it all on your own, without my help. <laughs> You'd have it all on your own, without my help. Add my little license plate, and there you have it. So, uh, this Friday, guys, da -da 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 -da, so don't forget to join me on Friday, same bat channel, same bat place. We're going to be doing trick-or-treaters, and there's no angles in the trick-or-treaters, okay, guys? <laughs> so, trick-or-treat, that's this Friday. So, I hope to see you all here this Friday. Thank you so much for joining me on our how-to session. And hopefully, with some practice, some patience, which I don't have any of, <laughs> you guys will be able to do your trucks. 
All right. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, just ask me. You can message me. Anybody watching the replay, replays are all available. And um, always free to watch. Tips are appreciated because art supplies are not free, people. Just not free. Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App. All right. So thanks, guys. And uh, there we have it. <laughs> And uh, I have some ideas for some other How To Tuesdays. I'm going to do good night, sweetheart. Good night, Tina B. So I have other ideas on how to do some other How To Tuesdays. We're going to be painting cabins. I'm going to do cabins as one. I'm going to do um, hair as one i got clothes on my list bridges and planes and boats and all sorts of stuff so if there's anything that you want to learn about that you want to see me do as a how to tuesday six thousand percent let me know what it is and i will put it on my list i will put it on my list if there is a paint party idea that you would like to see um, all of my Friday night paint party ideas come from you guys. So we have trick-or-treaters next week. I mean this Friday, a couple of days. And next week I'm not going to be here because I am going on a ship. We're going on a boat, baby. We're going on a boat. I like my little truck. <laughs> You want to do your black? You want to do a black cat so you can see their faces and legs. All right, so not a tiny, tiny black cat like was in the uh, other painting. You want to do black cats that are um, part of the focal point? We can do that. We can do black cats. Maybe a black cat wearing a witch's hat. We can try that. I know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't try to put a three-quarter truck in your painting. <laughs> Tina, you did, you did them with just a bit of gray mixed in, came out pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, so you guys just have to practice, that's all. It's all good. That's why this is a practice session. So, you guys are amazing. <laughs> so, why we practice as a fam? We have fun, we make mistakes, we learn, try new things. It's the whole point. That is the whole point. Good night, Tina B. Good night, everyone. So on that note, I'm going to say good night. Thank you so much for joining me, fam. Um, you all warm my heart. And um, have fun and go create, okay? Mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. Keep practicing, Tina, and you'll get them. That's all there is to it. Have a great night. Bye-bye.